going to look at the erector sheath block now um, for abdominal surgery. Um, we're going to take our probe, place it onto the abdomen in a transverse plane just below umbilicus. So we can see there, we can see the, the start of our, our rectus muscles and our, our linear alba running through the centre of the screen. Now one of the great things with the GE venue system is we can turn on virtual convex, which I'm going to do now. And it'll give us a wider frame, so it'll give us that curve, almost a curve linear array from our high frequency array. It gives us better visualisation of those muscles. So we can look at this, um, this block in, in two different views, the transverse view and the paramedian view. Um, so we are going to take one of our rectus muscles and look first of all. And we can see the anterior fascia above the rectus muscle, the posterior fascia, which will be the first line of fascia we see below the muscle, and peritoneum um, transversalis fascia is going to sit below the posterior fascia. Now with most fascial plane blocks, we aim to inject in between fascial planes. The rectus is somewhat different in that we want to inject above the posterior fascia. So rather than injecting between the posterior and transversalis, we're going to be injecting our local anaesthetic below the muscle, but above the posterior plane. Now, we're going to need to do this block bilaterally. So if we're looking at doing this block in a transverse plane, um, we're going to hold our probe, we are going to take our needle and we're going to have to insert our needle from either side, either lateral side of our probe and make our inject date there. So that's the transverse view of the erector sheath block. So again, the anatomy, we are going to have rectus, rectus, linear alba in the center, with that double line of fascia. Now if we take our probe and we move it into the paramedian view, we again can see our rectus muscle and again we can see that double fascial plane. We can see the peristalsis of the, ba the bowel below and one of the benefits of performing this block in the paramedian view is we can move our probe distal and proximal or cordad and cephalad and we can follow those rectus muscles up and down. Now again we can insert our needle point from the cephalad or the cordad end of the probe, bring that in through the rectus muscle, inject above the posterior fascia but carry on inserting our needle and follow that inject date down. So for a larger midline incision we can cover a larger span by doing the paramedian approach as opposed to a small umbilical incision or an umbilical hernia repair where we can do the lateral to medial approach on both sides of the probe.